Right, how are we doing everybody? Welcome to Russell Heritage Golf. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I have recently found more confidence in my game. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys how you can try and find more confidence in your game. Here at West Midlands, I'm going to play a few holes and share with you how I kind of was reflecting upon my game. And equally, the simple little tip that's made a massive difference. Well, Let's see, with my confidence. Let's see how this kind of goes. Before I share with you guys what it is that exactly has given me confidence. Confidence is gonna come in from the form of a couple of things. First one, be contact. So that means you need a little tip to help you concentrate on the low point of the golf swing. But mine wasn't contact. My problem was coming in the form of, say direction, but it wasn't that I was massively wayward. It was more the fact that I just couldn't essentially see a kind of clear way towards the back of the golf ball. I was standing over approach shots, so I say just feeling a little bit hazy about it all. And it's starting to feel a lot, lot better already. The question would be, what is it then? What is it that have I found recent confidence in? And it actually came to me a little bit of an epiphany moment where in between golf lessons, so in between doing a few online lessons at home actually, I kind of started to swing a golf club and realized that specifically, if you watch the channel, you would have hopefully noticed quite a significant difference and that is the putter. See for the last kind of, well, this year, so the last few months, I've actually been using an arm lock putter and growing in confidence with it. It wasn't until I picked up a traditional putter that was it at home that I noticed that I actually started to feel quite comfortable if I softened my arms. I bent my arms, and I've never really done that with putting. With putting, I've always been quite straight armed. By softening the arms, it was almost as if the club face just started to sit squarer. So, I started to think about my game and I thought where I was. And I was a bit like, well, actually this year, if I was to look at it, I've played a little bit of golf. And I'd probably say that my putting I thought was better, but my pitching and chipping wasn't exactly, you know, wasn't exactly great and up to much. And I started to do some chip and pitch shots by softening my arms. And all of a sudden, the whole thing started to feel much clearer. All of a sudden, like I said, I could start to see my starting direction better. So for myself, because I was kind of almost a little bit too forward pressed at address, feet would have to aim a little bit left to compensate for it. And like I said, in the golf swing, and we've talked about on the channel, you wanna get the club face square, shaft angle like so to start off with. You can hit the ball with as much shafting as you want because you can match it up with rotation, which is how I swing, but, if you start with a little bit too much shaft lean, it would kind of encourage you to get the face square to kind of rotate the arm. All of a sudden then you're de-lofting the club and that can hinder your contact. And that's kind of, I suppose, what I feel like I've been battling a little bit when playing. So I've come out today to practice and all I'm trying to do is just soften my arms a little bit at address. That doesn't mean my arms are necessarily bent, it just means that they're much more relaxed. So instead of setting up with a decent amount of shuffling like so, I wouldn't say decent amount, I'd actually say an overpronounced amount. So when we get set up, it's completely acceptable for the shaft to have a little bit of lean towards the lead side. That's obviously understandable. But what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna pronounce that too much. And that was basically what I was doing. And like I said, that's why then I started to have this little epiphany moment by reducing that. It was almost as if 
I could actually see a much clearer image of where I was aiming again. And well, we'll see what happens. But it's definitely given me confidence so far. And I definitely feel, I mean, that was a four iron, that I can actually start to aim a little bit more squarer now, rather than feeling like I was having to aim a little off. So that's two sizable hits into this par five, a driver and a four iron. And like I said, it all started by softening the arms, getting rid of the arm lock. Now, look, what am I talking about? And what is it? How are you going to relate to exactly what it is that I'm going on about here? To play good golf and consistent golf, you almost need, shall we say, like a placebo. Something that's just going to give you high levels of confidence and motivation. And sometimes that's all you really need. Behind the scenes, you'll know if you need to be doing technical work because of your general proximity and consistency with your golf. For myself, it was just that little bit. But what you should be doing is if you are struggling with contact, then you should be searching for useful pieces of information and having golf lessons around areas that are going to improve your contact. So it could be something as simple as staying more centered, keeping your head more on the front of the ball, um, shifting your pressure differently. So rather than moving this way, it could be anything. And hopefully you'll find that feel that makes a significant improvement in your contact. Equally, if you're struggling, like I was a little bit, with the starting direction and seeing the shot go straight, then you need to check your basics. And that's exactly what I've done, but it started for me with the putter. And by softening the arms and reducing too much forward press has just helped me get into a position where I'm aiming, feel like I'm aiming a little less left and forward leady, and I'm a little bit more square on, and the shaft angle seems to be sitting a little bit nicer. And from there now, I can now see this is aiming about a foot towards the right hand side. So depending on the pace, that's going to be a little bit short. Yeah, it's starting to feel better already. It really is the little things that give you confidence. And it coincided that I had a lesson yesterday where who turned up just had a closed club face at address. Closed the club face at address then meant that he had to open it coming in towards the hit. That then promoted a leaning back. So we worked on some rotational exercises, try and get the feeling of hitting more through the ball. But the big shock to the system was just the club face alignment. Now for me, it's obviously less pronounced rather than, should we say, feeling like I'm having to aim left because the shaft's too far forward. What I'm now doing is just making sure I get the shaft sitting a little more neutral. And then I feel like I can aim a little bit more parallel to that face. When I hit the ball, because I introduce more rotation, I can therefore introduce more shaft lean. But a lot of that is due to the fact that my body's more open at impact than it therefore is at the point of collision. But there's a significant difference between that and aiming left and introducing shaft lean because then I just feel personally and professionally speaking, if I'd have seen it on somebody else, that it's going to be difficult to align yourself if you've got too much shaft lean. So like I said, what you take out of this video is, for goodness sake, make sure that you check your basics in terms of alignment and club face and shaft, because otherwise you're going to struggle. This is the area that, like I said, I was probably starting to struggle the most. By just softening the arms at home, kind of allowed me to sit the club a little bit more vertical, like I originally said, and felt like for the first time, maybe I could start to get that feeling of gliding the club under a little bit more. Like I said about before on the channel, you've got options. The shaft lean shot exists, whether it's pitching, whether it's trying to hit it lower, whatever it might be. But the only thing that, like I said, you've got to be careful about when you start introducing shaft lean 
which theoretically can make the club face point right, which then means you have to point further left. And it, everything can just get a little bit misaligned. So the big message out of all of this is that I would say an extremely high percentage I would say almost recently, out of the last dozen lessons that I've given, there has been something wrong in the basics. Somebody has either got the posture wrong, the width of stance wrong, maybe a little bit of the grip wrong, club face wrong, alignment wrong. If it's wrong, you might be able to compensate and get away with it, but what I would say is it probably won't feel great and right. So are you somebody who is struggling to feel, somebody who's struggling to see what it is that you're doing, and that was exactly taking the words out of my mouth of yesterday's lesson, couldn't feel, couldn't see, didn't know what he was doing, and it was because the club face was closed. And it will do that, right? It will do that. And it was kind of like I said, it was the same for me. It was like my golf wasn't bad, but I noticed that the more I was playing, it wasn't necessarily getting better. And it was because of the points that I've mentioned today. So for me, by softening the arms has just helped the shaft angle sit back into a state of neutral, which means the club face is square, which is, means that I can match up my feet, which means that I can see where I'm going a lot clearer and start to hit some much, much better shots, hopefully. Yes, obviously, like with all changes, a little bit clean in the hit, but like with all sort of changes, you're gonna have to think about stuff but at least it boosts that sort of motivation and it boosts that sort of confidence and it just makes you look forward to getting out and playing a little bit more and that's what it is that you guys are searching for and i get it so you still need your fundamental changes of course you do but make sure that you're associating to the problem that you have and you're not making changes for the sake of it so it's either contact direction curvature whatever and hopefully you can find something from this video which will just mean rather than searching for big answers, maybe it's something a little bit more basic that you need to be searching for first and foremost. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Always appreciate a thumbs up like. Remember, it's absolutely free to subscribe. If you're going to do so, press the little bell icon because that means you receive notifications every time a new video comes out. I'll catch up with you guys again soon. Drop it in that comments box below if you kind of have resonated with that. Told you, it's confidence.